Thanksgiving is different now. Uh, it's an old thing. It's as old as America and older than that. Uh, George Washington did a Thanksgiving proclamation. Uh, Lincoln did a famous one 100 years later. Uh, traditionally, it descends from the harvest festival, which is a seasonal thing. So you spend the summer getting in the crops, praying for rain or less rain. It's never the farmers think it's never the right amount of rain. And then you have the hectic thing of getting the crops in, which is night and day labor and exhausting, and then you've got the crops, and that's something to celebrate. Uh, life doesn't work that way anymore. It isn't seasonal in the same way. So I think we have to make an effort to make it seasonal. And there's many ways to do that. The college is actually in the business of recalling things that are beyond time. Things that are not just seasonal, things that are eternal. Because you know at the end of the season, Thanksgiving is when you think about gratitude to the eternal for the fact that you've got food to eat and for the chance to do the labor to produce it. And you get the cooperation from nature that it takes to produce it. And we're grateful for that. And there's a natural time to stop and be grateful. I think music is a great and powerful way to go about that. Uh, music is a big thing here. I sit in her, here in our chapel. It's being prepared right now for a Christmas video that you'll have access to pretty soon by our new Sacred Music Choir. I think you're going to see that they're wonderful. What is the music that they sing? It's about the eternal. And music has an unusual power to transport. Uh, in Plato's Republic, it's along with gymnastic, which is things you do to your body to make it better, it is the most powerful of two powerful things. Uh, music in Plato's Republic includes literature and poetry and all forms of art that can affect the, the mind and the senses and the emotions. And so uh, music is very important. Uh, this morning I started listening to one of my favorite pieces of music, Foray's Requiem. It's uh, 35 minutes long. It's uh, very beautiful. The third movement is called Sanctus, and that comes from sacred, and that word sacred has meant the same thing in Latin and all the other languages where it appears. It means touching or connected to the divine. The holiday season, which begins and includes Thanksgiving and runs through the wonderful thing of Christmas, is a great time to celebrate the eternal. We have to remember to stop and do that. Uh, because if we don't remember the eternal, our temporal work, our work in time, won't be meaningful or well-directed. Uh, our college is in the business of remembering the sublime, because that is the end of life and the only guide to life that will work. In this troubled time, and it's very troubled, uh, I worry about these times a great deal. And then I remember the Sanctus, and I remember that sooner or later, all will be well. Happy Thanksgiving.